Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm actually going to be recreating a makeup look. I actually found this makeup artist on Instagram and I swear to goodness, her makeup is just unbelievable. It is so, so good. I think it's pretty nice Dina, but this is the makeup look that I want to go for today, obviously. I will link her Instagram down below in the description box if you want to go and check her out. Her makeup is honestly absolutely amazing. She's absolutely gorgeous as well. So, yeah! I always like to give a wee bit of credit to the artist that I've got some inspiration from, just in case you're kind of looking at this makeup tutorial and kind of being like, yeah, that looks familiar. I'm actually first off going to start on my eyebrows. I'm going to do those off camera because I just hate doing my eyebrows on camera. It's time consuming. Don't even like watching it whenever other people do it. I have been loving these soap brows recently. Every time I do my eyebrows, this is just what I've been using recently. And then I'm also going to be using the Il Maquillage Brow Factor Brow Gel. Oh my god, look at my hands. Ooh, I did my tan last night. I haven't even washed it off yet. <laughs> it won't look that. What type of laugh was that? I haven't even washed it off yet. Um but yeah it's kind of like a pomade but it's in like a squeezy tube that's eyebrows done and i'm now just going to be using some products that i have recently been loving because i've been trying a lot of drugstore products high-end products first off, i'm going to prime and this is the revolution glass liquid skin illuminating primer this i tried the other day for the first time i didn't know what to expect of it if i'm being honest but it made my skin look I suppose like literal glass. It honestly made my skin look so, so good. It smells so good. It smells really, really sweet, like sweets. Funny that. <laughs> I was not expecting to love this as much as I do actually. I even think this is the type of product that you could use on a day where you're not wanting to wear any makeup because it honestly just gives your skin the most beautiful J glow, but it's completely dried down. It's not even sticky, it's not greasy, it's not oily. Like, my forehead just looks so juicy. <laughs> it just looks so, so good. This is the Urban Decay All A Nighter Foundation. I'm in the shade 5.0. I think the last time I used this it was a wee bit dark, but do keep in mind I am wearing a fake tan at the minute and my camera's washing me out quite a bit, so I'm actually a wee bit darker in person. So I'm just going to start by blending this out with a... Dry Beauty Blender. This wee beauty sponge is actually from Tarte, by the way, and it's actually very, very good. It's really nice. As much as I love this foundation, one thing I have noticed, and I'm not too sure if anybody else has noticed this, but I have noticed that it oxidises so bad on me. Like, I don't even know if you can tell or not, but I have a beautiful shade of orange right now from here up. To conceal, I'm going to be using this concealer here by Jeffree Star, and it's in the shade C4. I tried this again last week for the first time, and I actually really liked it. But I just love the brightness that this concealer just adds to the under eyes. The coverage is absolutely great, although I wouldn't really expect much more or less, sorry, from... Jeffree Star, but it's just such a really, really nice concealer. I wouldn't say it is extremely full coverage to, um, like, say, the e.l.f. 16R Camo Concealer or Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just a nice enough coverage for it to be full coverage, but I would say you'd be able to build it up if you want it to be even more full coverage. And then for my cream contour, I'm going to be using the Revolution Foundation Stick. I'm going to be using the shade F13. It's actually a perfect shade for me to cream contour. So if you're about the same skin tone as me and you like your contour, your bronze to be slightly darker like mine, this is honestly such a great wee shade. I'm literally just sitting waiting for a drugstore brand to bring out a cream contour. Unless you want a cream contour palette and then you have like so many shades that are too light for you or too dark for you or you'll just never use. They are honestly so annoying. I hate contour palettes. Like I know it's okay like using foundation sticks as contours and then using a darker concealers as cream contours as well. But I don't know. It's just something that no drugstore brand has actually released. Like just like a single compact of a cream bronzer. Like I know Funny Beauty has came out with my cream bronzers and cream blushes, but it's not exactly drugstore prices. <laughs> I absolutely love cream contour. 
You tell that my face just looked really, really flat there because I had just blanked out my entire complexion with foundation and then I just highlighted the center with concealer. So my face just looked really, really flat. But with just the tiniest bit of cream contour, it's just it just brings the face back to life again. And every single cream contour I have tried blends out so effortlessly and easy and that's what makes it look a wee bit more natural like I, I've mentioned this before it doesn't look natural but like as you can tell it just looks as if I have like a more natural sun-kissed bronze going on around the skin so powder this is the Revolution Pro uh, translucent pressed powder so it just looks like so shit so I'm just gonna go in and lightly set my under eyes and just mainly my t-zone just before I go in and bake because I don't like to bake on top of a sticky base moving along I'm going to now bake with the halo glow scent powder this is one from elf I have been loving it this wee powder recently halo glow kind of means that it has a wee bit of like a kind of like a sheen to it on your hands well this is just my experience with it so far like whenever it's on your hands you can really see like the nice wee sheen that it gives but on my face I don't notice it at all like literally at all <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing whether I'm applying too much too little or I'm just applying it over too much of a full coverage base I don't know but if any of you guys have tried this wee setting powder and you can actually see like the luminosity it gives to the skin like please do let me know but <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and back just my chin area under eyes and my smile lines just my usual getting my powder puff and I'm just going to run that up just up the center of the nose and just up to my forehead just to soak up all that excess powder I'm going to be using the MAC prep and prime fix plus I think this is the rose scented one yeah oh my god my face is dripping oh no that's actually one thing I've noticed. You, you don't really hear many people talking about MAC makeup these days. Like, back in the day, MAC was so popular. I remember whenever I first started to, like, really get into makeup and I had the actual money to, like, splurge out and actually buy myself, like, good, decent quality makeup. It was always MAC. Like, I never would have thought of going on to Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty or going into Debenhams or, like, buying any other high-end makeup, but... It was MAC. I think it's because MAC isn't cruelty free. I think that is probably the main reason why a lot of people don't really use MAC these days and that's completely understandable but I don't know like MAC has kind of just always been like that cult favourite. So this is the Wet and Wild highlighting powder and it's in the shade Precious Petals. This is just Luminoso by Milani. So I'm still wanting to continue on with my one brand tutorials and I was going to do Milani actually. Holy hell! Milani makeup is so expensive guys. I was on Beauty Bay checking up all the makeup brands just to actually see what I could do next. I'm thinking of doing LA Girl because LA Girl is cheap. <laughs> cheap and cheerful. But I was thinking of Milani or NYX. But guys they are so expensive. I'm such a cheap skate. <laughs> so do feel free to also let me know if there's any one brand trials you would want me to do. And also preferably drugstore. <laughs> I was actually gonna do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury actually and I honestly had no idea how expensive that woman's makeup is. And I know everybody loves her makeup and any products that I have from her, they are honestly so, so nice. But damn. Like forty pounds for like a wee four quad eyeshadow palette. No way, Jose. So I'm just further bronzing my skin. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer. Honestly, sometimes being blonde is such a curse. Look how many of these wee hairs are in the front of my face is like orange from makeup. Sickens my happiness. <laughs> this is the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today, and it's the Me Myself and Mitchell palette by Beauty Bay. Okay, so I, I did notice that she had a wee bit of a crease colour going on. Should I use the palette for that? 
or bronzer. I think I'll just use my bronzer for that actually. So I'm going with the, again, just the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronzer. Oh, primer. So I'm going to prime the lids first of all with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Obviously I don't set my lids whenever I'm using the paint pot. So I'm just going to go on in and I'm just going to focus this shade. What, what am I doing? I'm not really applying any pressure to my lid at all by the way. I'm just literally just like tickling it. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go on with this shade here. Shmini. <laughs> I am so excited. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna be using like a wee small flat packing brush, like so. The only reason I'm actually using this one is because I have no clean brushes, so not for any other reason but that. Now first I was just going to pack this on as much as I can just on the lid and then I'm going to go in after and blend the corners right up into the crease as well. I'm going to take like a semi-clean brush again. I'm going to dip in to Schmini. <laughs> I love saying that. Um, just at the tip. I'm just going to start in the outer corner and I'm just going to start by gradually blending just back and forward. While I was looking for some false lashes to wear, I came across this pigment that I have and it's from the Gypsy Shrine and it's a loose pigment in neon green. I think we have to use it. It is honestly so incredible. I'm going to spritz my brush and I'm just going to apply this directly to the lid. I'm going to do my lips now while my lashes are drying. The lashes I'm going to be using are Lick and Lash Beauty Lashes and they're in the style Sass. For lip liner this is MAC Strip Down. So I'm going to be using the Burberry Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Light Nude. Well it's more of like a lip velvet. It is a matte lip cream let's just say but it doesn't like completely dry down. And then I just like to use my finger. I'm not too sure whether to keep this lip matte or stick a wee gloss on top, but I have this P. Louise Gloss Holla. I think I might just put a wee bit in the centre. I'm actually going to go off camera now, do my hair and make myself look somewhat presentable for you guys. So, yeah, BRB. Okay guys, so this completes this makeup tutorial. So I love how this turned out. I think I might do like a purple one or a yellow one soon. Although, is that boring? I don't know. But anyway guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. All the products that I did use will be listed linked down below in the description box, along with my Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter, and also my Depop. So don't forget to go and follow me on those. But yeah, other than that guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please stay safe and I hope to see you all in my next video.